It's an internationally recognized organization that's lifted the spirits of over 100,000 kids, and it all started right here in our own backyard. It's Cards for Hospitalized Kids, and their founder, Jen Rubino, is joining us now to tell us how to be a part of the great things they do. Cards for Hospitalized Kids is a charity that's based here in Chicago, and we work with the child life departments at hospitals here in Chicago, and then also across the country to distribute handmade cards to kids that are being treated in the hospital both every month and as well as on major holidays like Halloween and Christmas and things like that. And it's an organization that I was inspired to start after my own experiences in the hospital and people of really any age, any occupation can make cards using the instructions on our website and then send them into us for distribution. So for people who want more information or want to read more in detail about your story, Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the best way to get in touch with you guys? Definitely our website. It's cardsforhospitalizedkids.com. And we have all of our contact information on there, all of our information for making cards. And then on our website, we also have the social media information on Facebook and Twitter. So people can connect with us there as well. Um, get to see like a lot of pictures of the kids with the cards and things like that. Talking with Jen Rubino, who's the founder of Cards for Hospitalized Kids. And these aren't cards that people are running to the store and buying. These are actually making your own cards, having some fun with arts and crafts time and people of all ages are doing this. Yeah, absolutely. We have people all the way from preschool up to senior citizen age making cards, so it's really great. And on the website, people can see examples of these cards as well. And you guys have some great celebrity backing uh, from right mm-hmm. here in Chicago, Bill and Juliana Rancic, Lucy Hale, uh, even mm-hmm. some Olympians, Allie Raisman is on there too. Yeah, absolutely. They send autographs for the kids to receive along with the cards and they also help us spread the word on social media and it's really great. So for people who are maybe confused, like, well, what's the difference between, you know, just running out to the store and buying a card and making a card. Uh, what's the difference to a child who would receive this? Well, to a child that's in the hospital, being able to receive a handmade card that somebody took the time to make and create that personal connection with them, it really makes them feel special and really gives them that personal connection that they wouldn't receive with a card that's bought from the store. And so it just really gives them that, you know, feeling of being unique and special, which is something that they're lacking a lot of times when they're in the hospital. And so it just really helps impact them in a much bigger way. Talking with Jen Rubino, the founder of Cards for Hospitalized Kids. And for people who are getting excited hearing about this, uh, what are some kind of rules of thumb for making these cards? Yeah, the rules are pretty basic. Really just things like you don't want to include too much personal information. You can certainly include your first name or your company, but you don't want to put like your last name, your address. Um, We ask that you don't use like excessive amounts of glitter or, you know, similar craft products just because that can create health concerns for some of the patients. And then we also ask that you don't put any religious comments on the cards um, and just general things like that. Those are rules that the hospitals have given down to us. And they're pretty basic. You can read them all on our website as well. And especially with back to school time for teachers that are listening, this is a great activity for a whole class to do together. Yeah, absolutely. We've had a lot of schools, classes and extracurricular groups at different schools and universities make cards. And it's a really great activity that... You know, it's a great, fun, creative activity for students to do together and then also make a difference at the same time. And we have information on our website of how they can, you know, make cards and get involved. They can also receive service hours for making cards. And so it's especially great for school um, activities that require service hours and things like that. So it's definitely a great activity for the school year, for sure. And you guys have a connection with the Displains Library. So tell us about that. Yeah, we do. They've been involved with us ever since the beginning when I first founded Cards for Hospitalized Kids. And we have monthly events there aimed at, you know, kids in grades 7 through 12. And they can come and make cards every month, and you can also earn service hours for making cards. And then on the second floor of the library, they also have a card-making station for children in elementary and grade school where they can come in time and make cards, and it's a really great way to get involved. So many fun ways to get involved and to actually give back. And you guys have actually made over 100,000 kids have received these cards in over 50 states. So it goes beyond uh, our surrounding area. Yeah, absolutely. On the flip side of that, people that maybe know someone who's in the hospital, maybe a nurse is listening or some kind of health care provider, is there a way for them to connect some of their patients to Cards for Hospitalized Kids? Yeah, absolutely. On our website, we have a referral form. And so nurses or parents or someone that knows a child that's in the hospital can definitely send us the child's information and we can get a card out. And if there's a doctor or a child life specialist or somebody at a health care facility that is interested in getting like a large number of patients involved, they can definitely get in touch with us on our website and we'd be happy to connect with them about that. We've We've all made cards here a bunch of times before. It's so much fun, and uh, you, you don't judge our artistic ability because I don't think mine goes above 
like kindergarten, but they're still greatly appreciated and it's a good time. Absolutely. <laughs> Jen Rubino is the founder of Cards for Hospitalized Kids. One last time, remind our listeners where to find all this information we just talked about. On our website, cardsforhospitalizedkids.com. Sounds good. Well, Jen, it's always good to talk to you. Uh, thank you so much for sharing all this information with Chicago Connection and we look forward to checking in with you soon. Of course. Thank you so much. And that wraps up another show for this weekend. I'm Rebecca Ortiz and I hope you join me next weekend as we share more ways for you to stay connected and get involved in your community here on Chicago Connection.